Oh, Sebastian. What will your uncle say? Welcome friends to my Hogwarts Legacy Guide and today I want to share some tips for beginners with you and since the game doesn't tell you and I truly believe they will help to make your start in this wonderful game much easier. And if you find this video useful, don't forget to like it and especially subscribe to my channel, cause I plan to make a full guide about this game with all its secrets, don't miss it. And let's go. Revilio? Hmm, Revilio. Revilio is a spell that will allow you to see hidden items. And you know Hogwarts is a very magical place and there will be plenty of hidden chests and other interesting stuff you will find using Revilio. And by the way, you will gain experience only by two ways. By completing the quest and finding pages. And guess what? You will be able to find these pages using Revealio spell. So just cast it often. When you complete a challenge and there will be plenty of them, you will get certain kind of reward. For example, I need to collect two field guide pages in Hogwarts to receive this reward. But what game never tell you is that you need to claim your reward, you see? But it's not yours yet. Now it's yours. So friends, never forget to claim your reward. Ok, we collected a legendary gloves, now let's equip it. But where are they? How to do it? Oh, my friend, you have to do something like this. You have to equip a glove, go back and here you see you have an option to change appearance F if you playing from PC, let's do it. And here they are, our legendary gloves. You see my gloves changed, now they legendary, excellent. It's not really obvious how to do it, but now you know it. Rivers, lakes and other water surfaces have places where you can dive and get yourself a nice treasure. So sometimes it will be a good idea to go swimming. At the beginning of the game you have only 20 slots for your items, for your gear. And believe me, that's definitely not enough. But how to increase my inventory capacity? You have to complete a Merlin Trails. It's some kind of puzzle, but they are really very easy and you will get a very good tutorial how to solve them. But what I really want to say, do not miss these locations, complete them as soon as you can. Now let's talk about leveling up. Maybe you notice that in the beginning of the game you gain in levels and it seems nothing change, nothing happen. But actually leveling up will increase your health. And I say even more, it's the only source to increase your health. So it's very important. Maximum level you can gain will be 40. And also leveling up will give you some kind of skill points, they call talents in this game. And you will unlock these talents when you play 5, 6 or maybe even 10 hours deep into the game. So we have a lot of talents, what of these talents I will recommend you to get first. Let's go to core and here will be Knowledge, spell knowledge 1, spell knowledge 2. Get it as soon as you can. Maybe you already face the fact that 4 spells is definitely not enough. You want to have more. And these talents will allow you to have 8 active spells at the same time. The second talent I will recommend you will be this one, it called Swift and it will increase your dodge, it will save your life so often. Guys, you will send me later, definitely. And I'm sure during your travels you meet this eye chest, but how to approach it? You see, if you come close, this chest will lock up and you will not be able to take a treasure. Well friends, you have to progress through the story 
do you learn this spell? And when you are invisible, you will be able to approach this ship and collect all its treasures. Yeah, chest, it's too late, treasure is already mine. 500 gold pieces, all of them contain 500 gold pieces. Don't buy potions at shop, cause they are really very, very expensive. It's better to learn to grow ingredients and make potions by yourself, and spend your money on equipment and recipes. By the way, there will be moment in the game during the main story when you will need a lot of money. By the way, one more very interesting thing, when you level up, your gear will level up with you. And in the end, I want to give you a general advice, don't rush with the world exploration and completing all that side quest, progress through the main story, till you get a lot of spells, at least you unlock talents, and it will be good if you get a Lahamora, a lockpicking spell. It will make your exploration much more comfortable. Well, student, now you're ready to begin your adventure in the beautiful world of Hogwarts Legacy. And if you find this video useful, don't forget to like it. And I will see you in my next one. Meet you there, friend.